Ryan Garcia is back on social media to talk to fans. Some think it's a clone and it's not the man, but his explanation sounded fishy. That's Aquaman. Ryan Garcia back on social media after deactivating his account. Many posts were deleted and some rare and almost unexplainable behavior ahead of a major fight with Devin Haney. Mm, mm, mm. Damn. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, I made a lot of videos about this, and I said it before, we're going to double down on that. This, by far, has been the weirdest fight that I could recall covering in terms of a pre build because most fights, especially major fights, the pre build and the build up to the fight all has something to do with boxing. Many things regarding this whole Ryan Garcia, the antics and things like that have very little, or you could even say zero to do with boxing. And people are like, oh, this is great promotion. Ryan's trolling. Ryan's just trying to get, you know, impressions and analytics. Nonetheless, it's all weird to me. And I don't think it enhances a boxing match because he's talking about something and certain subject matter that is really deeper than boxing. If I'm being honest, we're talking things that are very triggering things that some people have experienced. And for that reason, it just kind of takes the spotlight away from an actual boxing match. I mean, he's saying he's seen things and like unthinkable things, reprehensible things, atrocities and travesties. And, you know, it's just at this point, you don't know what to take him. So I made a video. Please check out part one of this video, Ryan Garcia. He was drinking on live. He was talking about the feds watching, plotting to get me with La Savavala. Come on, let's picture the possibility. He was sounding paranoid like Tupac Amaru Shakur. He says he was on live and the feds was watching. The FBI was suppressing the content or basically shadow banning him. Then he switched it and said it was the CIA. Just bizarre stuff. But again, for more on that, check part one of this video now ryan garcia the next day pops back up like a pop-up shop and he emerges and we're gonna get into so stay tuned to the end of this video we're gonna get to ryan garcia returning to social media so his return to social media we're gonna analyze what he was saying and i mean he's just acting like nothing happened like Everything that the CIA and the Fed talk and some of the other things and the drinking and, and training camp for a fight. He's acting like we're the problem. You know, the people who are worried or concerned. And it's it's just been that type of buildup. So without further ado, let's get ready to hear what Ryan Garcia says. Stay tuned to the end of this video. I will have closing thoughts regarding the matter. And we'll pay attention to Ryan and his return to social media. It's good to see that he's safe and, you know, out of harm's way because it, everything was erratic that he's doing. Almost everything's erratic. So you don't really know until you know. So that's why I told people, even, even in the comment section, people were making jokes like, ah, ha, he's just trolling. I like to see someone's good before I just assume that they are good, right? So now we know he's there. He's showing face. His social media is back. Let's take a look at the clip ryan garcia's first words since posts were deleted he hasn't really explained he just keeps saying they 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 let's hear what he has to say roll the clip i don't know about you guys but i feel perfectly fine I'm about to head to the gym spar see that <laughs> i gotta stop right there that's already kind of weird the man after a bizarre tape, he just says, I don't know about y'all, but I feel great. Like, bro, we worried about y'all. I didn't drink last night, so I've been great. I'm completely sober. I'm not talking about the feds and the CIA. 
and now he's acting like nothing even happened. I don't know about you guys, but I feel perfectly fine. About to head to the gym, spar. Like, we're the problem. So, all that, cancel the fight talk, stop all that. Okay, so he said all that, all the people who were worried saying cancel the fight, uh-uh. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Cancel the fight talk, stop Hold all on, that. Hold on, let me go back. The gym, spar. So, all that, cancel the fight talk, stop all that. We train hard, we're just passionate. Something's wrong. I'm ready to hurt somebody, but but supposedly I'm mentally ill. What is going on with you? Why he stay in the shower, like on live? It's kind of weird. Like that doesn't make no sense. Look at the man. Did he just do a Tukey Williams flex? Bro, he hit the Tukey Williams out of nowhere. <laughs> Look, I'm good, bro. I'm good. Bro, he just hit the he hit the Tukey. He looked kind of big though. Pause. Listen, obviously, shout out to Cam and Mace. That's a pause. Hey, yo. But he looked kind of big. And like, and when I'm saying big, I'm talking about are you gonna make weight type of big? Like you your last fight was at a catch weight with a guy who wasn't of that weight class. Oscar Duarte, are you going to even make weight? Because you need to be cutting. No sense. The flex is hilarious. That he said it makes no sense. Y'all saying it's mentally something Doesn't wrong. Doesn't make no sense. Look at me, I'm talking clear. Or he did like a Nate Diaz random flex. Let's keep it going. Look at me, I'm talking clear. I'm happy. Shit, I decided to get some wine last night. A little bit, not even that much. See, that's kind of weird that he's explaining himself. Look at me, I'm talking clear. Like, is that an accomplishment? You're talking clear? <laughs> you should be talking clear if you're clear-headed in a fight camp. And then he said, I decided to get some wine yesterday. Not even that much. I mean, I, I, I've i been around elite fighters in training camps. And to be drinking and, like, publicizing it and going on live to the point where you look a little tipsy, stuff like that. This new generation is diffy. It's real different. I haven't seen that, you know, because I feel like fighters in the past, maybe who were doing some of these things, they kept it under wraps a little bit more instead of like advertising it. So if they were drinking in camp or doing things that were traditionally thought to be not accepted or like bad pub like you're not taking it serious i feel like at the very least they just wouldn't show us ryan garcia is like the truman show and his social media it's crazy how that movie with jim carrey the truman show kind of predicted our society with social media but let's keep it going but supposedly i'm mentally ill what is going on with you like that doesn't make no sense look at me i'm talking clear i'm happy Shit, I decided to get some wine last night, a little bit, not even that much. It felt great, it was cool. But then it should be easy then, right? The fight for Devin should be easy to beat me, if that's the case. But I'll tell you why he doesn't believe that it's easy. See, I, me personally, call me, uh, I, how'd I pause right on the flex? Right on the Tukey Williams. I don't like that from a fighter, a fighter who is, their claim to fame is A, I'm in training camp, I'm drinking wine, and it should be easy for Devin then. Like, just saying that does not inspire confidence to me. Like, if you lived in New York, if I lived in New York, right, and I was, like, on the fence, like, should I go to the fight, should I pay? Because Golden Boy got the tickets priced high. I've already talked about that in several videos. It's absolutely the case. The ticket prices are, are high. They're going to have to come down and slash, especially since in 14 days after this fight with Haney and Garcia, Canelo Pede, Pede, you want Pede, I know that, is fighting in Vegas. And in Vegas, you could charge them prices because it's Vegas. But I don't think that inspires confidence by Ryan saying, oh, Devin should beat me easy since I'm drinking in camp. Look at me, I'm talking clear. I'm happy. Shit, I decided to get some wine last night, a little bit, not even that much. It felt great, it was cool. 
But th then it should be easy then, right? The fight for Devin should be easy to beat me. If that's the case. But I'll tell you why he doesn't believe that it's easy. Because he didn't want to do the, re uh, the rematch clause where the winner gets 70%. He said, no way. That's how you know he's scared. I'm going to come back and piss him close on. So right then and there, he says that Devin Haney, you could tell that he's scared. Did he just leave? I, I just thought about that. Did he just leave and say, I'm going to put some clothes on? There's no way he just said that. Is that what he just said? Because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to tap in and gather my thoughts. I know he didn't just leave us on live right now <laughs> and go put some clothes on. Bro, you should have put clothes on and then did the live. Bro, this new generation is bonkers but anywho he says you can tell that Devin Haney is scared because this fight has no rematch clause but Ryan has said this before he said that they discussed the topic of a rematch clause but you know, hold on it was contingent this man just popped up like a fiend I'm in the middle of talking he just popped back up with the clothes on so basically what Ryan was saying is that the idea of a rematch clause was talked about, but he suggested the winner get the lion's share. Like if I win the fight, Ryan, if Ryan wins the fight, then he gets 70% of the pot going into the rematch. And then the loser of the fight gets 30%. So it's Ryan's thinking or his belief that Devin Haney is not confident in the victory because he stated previously that Devin was like not okay with that 70-30 split for the winner going into a rematch. So let me know what you guys think about that. I had a fight to get. Now I got to get all my, my, my posts back. It's taking a while. All the stuff that I did, some of it got deleted. Ooh, deleted just, it. So, man, everybody likes to mess with me, bro. Who deleted I'm not it? even messing with them. I thought I posted good stuff yesterday. <laughs> the man said, I thought I posted good stuff yesterday. Bro, you were drinking and talking about the feds and the CIA, and you're supposed to be in training camp. Not only that, you were talking about suing the commission that has to commission this fight and sanction this fight in New York. You said you're going to sue them because they want you to take a mental evaluation, you know, some kind of test. And you don't think that's fair because your opponent is not having to take one. But again, your opponent is not acting berserk. I had a fight to get. Now I got to get all my, my, my posts back. It's taking a while. All the stuff that I did, some of it got deleted. It's just, uh, man, everybody likes to mess with me, bro. And I'm not even messing with them. I thought I posted good stuff yesterday. I didn't post nothing bad, but it's like, they swear like I did. And I already put, everybody's like, oh, you're doing cocaine. I already posted my test results. Where? I already tested my, I already posted. And you see how he's like, he's talking so fast that he's like almost stumbling over his words. Like he's so desperate to like clear his name that is like stuttering a lot. And I I don't recall this version of Ryan. I'm just being real. Like when he's talking about the tank fight, he seemed just in general a lot more clear headed. He's like, oh, I posted my test results. Uh, 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 uh. You, you're playing with my emotions. You, huh, huh, huh. He sounded like Big Worm. But it's like they swear like I did. Watch right here. And I already put, everybody's like, oh, you're doing cocaine. I already posted my test results. Where? I already test my, my I already posted my test results that say that I'm clean. So why is that rumor still going on? Oh, he just hit us with the walk off again. Like I I get the frustration, but you have to look at the behavior. I believe in accountability. You have to look at your own behavior to really why, why is that rumor? Why is that rumor still even going on? The man just keep that popping I'm doing up. cocaine. When I already tested my, my test results. Do you know? See that? If you see what I'm saying? I already tested my test results. That's not even the real sentence. I You meant you already posted your test results, which I don't even know what he's talking about. I don't, I never seen, and I'm online, you know, for my business. 
but he said I already tested my test results. So he's, he, it doesn't sound coherent. Listen. Do you know that if you're if you're truly a listen right here, he doesn't say I already posted. Why, why is that rumor? Why is that rumor still even going around that I'm doing cocaine when I already tested my my test results? I already tested my test results. See? Do you know that if you're if you're truly a cocaine addict, you're going to continue doing cocaine no matter what happens. You're going to do cocaine and it's going to come out on the test, especially if it's a random test, which they did the other day. And now I got to rebuild my Instagram and like try to get it all back. But it's okay. Because when I knock out Devin Haney, everything will be okay. You said when he knock him out, huh? How does this look? That looks good. I might have to go over there. He trying to flex. Mm. Oh, see, look. I'm strong right now. Look at this. Wow. You know what they're scared of? You know why everybody's tripping? That flex? Everybody's tripping because they remember me growing up as a little kid and just boxing, go being fast, being funny, you know, you know, doing this shit, you know, all this, uh, you know, all the challenges. That's how y'all remember me. But now I'm a grown ass man that's seen shit that he shouldn't have seen. And I I'm a grown ass man with a voice. And that's why y'all think, oh, we, we like the old Ryan. This ain't the old Ryan. This is a grown, this is turning into a grown ass man Ryan. You go from being a kid to a man. And now I'm a man. And now everybody's like, oh shit, who is this guy? He got cloned. Nah, I didn't. Why are you didn't looking at cloned? Clone? And, and um, Jasper, bro, yes, I did. And she was fired. Everybody knows Olive Garden got the best buffet. But that's the thing. You guys seen me as a little boy. And, and, and trying to be all nice and quiet. Your perception of me is, oh, he's a clean cut guy. So he can't cuss. He can't drink. And he can't smoke weed. He, bro, you're a fighter. You're a professional fighter. You're going against... Like, I know fighters that abstain from having SEX to tap in and, like, really, like, lock in on training camp. You can't give up wine for, like, 40 days, 50 days? That's not who he is. That's not him. You never even knew me before anything. Y'all, nobody knew me. Everybody only perceived me as something that I wasn't. Just because I am a clean cut man doesn't mean that I don't have my own little things I like to do. Drink black coffee, just go go drink a little bit. Like that's just what I like to do. And everybody really was judging me like for normal behavior, normal behavior. Yeah, normal behavior. But that's like normal behavior for quote unquote normal people with normal day jobs and stuff. You're a professional athlete getting millions. So like, for example, and I hopefully, if you're level-headed, you'll be able to understand the point I'm about to make. Ryan Garcia is not, in any word, any sense of the word, normal. Like, he doesn't have a normal amount of followers. He has, like, 10 million-plus followers. He doesn't make the average or normal pay. He's making 50 million-plus last year, right? That none of, Nothing that about you being a celebrity is going to be normal. You know, the average person, he has 10,000 people, 9,794 people as of me pausing this video. So that's 10 K people on your live stream and you're just in the bathroom. Nothing about that is normal. So if you want a normal life, I'm sorry, you're a celebrity. Your life is going to be under a microscope. So it, it doesn't really work like that. You, you don't get normal pay. This is the, you know, the other side of it, being a celebrity, a pro athlete. So he's saying like, oh, I do normal things. Yeah, going out for drinks and stuff is normal things. But for a boxer, that's not normal, especially to publicize it. Probably like, what? Why he get so close to, <laughs> this is making me, this is very off-putting. Why is he so close to the camera right now? <laughs> not now, not in the morning. Nobody's drunk, but I was saying last night, a couple people were drunk, you know? TMI. Um, it's like, is this all you guys want to see from me? Kinda. You know, 
Yeah, yeah, a lot more of that. Yeah. Yeah, throw some jabs back in there. No, I mean, I could do that all day. Okay, do it all day instead of these do other that streams. All day. But that's just not what it is. Um, we'll continue to talk. You know, I'm, I'm here. You know, I'm. I don't look bad today. See, I like, actually look good. These are weird statements. I don't look bad today. Like, so you're admitting you look disheveled in hey, past days? That's just not what it is. Um, we'll continue to talk. You know, I'm, I'm here. You know, I'm. I don't look bad today. That Zoolander face. I actually look Hold good. On. Hold on, I gotta find that Zoolander face. Anybody seen the movie with Ben Stiller? He looked like Zoolander. You know. I'm, Hold on. I'm, that might be it, but I think he does it more. Hold on. I'm trying to pause it. That. Straight Zoolander. Now, I want somebody to tell me I'm lying. That ain't Zoolander. Boom. <laughs> I'm just going to leave this on the screen. I, I should just leave it on the screen the whole time. Bro, that is dead on Zoolander. Hold on. Let's see if we can get it. That face is so funny. Bro, he is the new Zoolander of boxing. Amazing. Amazing stuff, Ryan. No, I mean, I could do that all day. Do it all day then. Do that all day. But that's just not what it is. Um, we'll continue to talk. You know, I'm, I'm here. Hold on, let's see if I can you know, catch I'm... it. <laughs> right. <laughs> I gotta get this. I can't, I can't. Bro, he is a Zoolander. I don't look bad today. I don't look bad today. I actually look good. Here's my closet. I got all my clothes here. You know, everything is good. Okay. You know, my hair looking a little crazy right now because I put too much soap in it. Put way too much soap in it. Soap? So you put lotion and soap? Yeah. This guy, Ryan, man. You know, man, my hair looking a little crazy right now because I put too much soap in it. Put way too much soap in it. <laughs> way too much soap. Yep. Thank you, Desilea. I love you guys. I want you guys to... I want you guys to keep on... Oh, mother... Stupid little thing. <laughs> what? He stepped uh, on the Lego. Uh, Hold on, what was that? Thank you, Jezalea. He said, thank you, Jezalea. And he stepped on a Lego. <laughs> yeah. That, I don't know what that was, bro. He tripped on something. Hold on. Listen. Let's see if we can find it. I love you guys. I want you guys to. I want you guys to keep on. Oh, mother. <laughs> stupid little thing. Bro, how did you not see a whole dresser drawer complete? Look. The dress. <laughs> Can y'all see that? The dresser drawer with the handle is like all the way open. Like you should have just like hip bumped that. <laughs> and he tripped, like he crashed into that some kind of way. That is funny. Look, you can see the dresser drawer is like wide open. I love you. You see? Like even as he peels the corner. You guys. I want Look, you guys right there. to. I want you guys to keep on. Oh, hip. mother. Stupid little thing. <laughs> he crashed into the oh. drawer. That was funny. Yeah, everybody's always hating on me for some reason. That drawer hating on you. But it don't matter because we're going to continue to spread the message. And we're going to do that even after our fight, before our fight, all that. I'm done making commitments to everybody saying, uh, uh, cocaine, yeah, whatever, dude. I Hold always on. do what? this with my nose. What? What? Got what? What was that? I. What's going on? I think I missed that because ain't no way, bro. He said, uh, 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 cocaine. I'm done making commitments to everybody saying. All day in the uh, uh, cocaine. Yeah, whatever, dude. I always do this with my. But it don't matter because we're going to continue to spread the message. See, and we're going to do that bro, even after our fight. He responded to before comments fight, or something. All that. I'm done making commitments to everybody saying. Uh, uh, cocaine. Yeah, whatever, dude. I always do this with my nose. If you guys watch any of my videos. I always do this. That's just what I do. That's like one of my things. I don't know why. It's just 
part of my nature. Maybe because I'm a Leo. My inner lion just... <laughs> you know? You never know. A lot of people are going to be like, oh, you stupid for that. Like, bro, what? Let me see what I want to wear today. <laughs> yeah, you're right. my other this. closet with all my jackets. Listen, it's, it's clear to me. You guys can say whatever you want, but it seems like Ryan got a lot going on. Especially before a major fight. You guys let me know what you guys think. I mean, I could show you the end of the video. He's just talking about, like, Cat Williams on TV. And... He seems inspired by certain people. Watch, here's the Cat Williams. That man right here. Cat Williams, see? Shout out Cat Williams. Why are you hollering? So Cat Williams can speak the truth, but Ryan Garcia can't. Crazy. I love Cat Williams. I need to link up with him. No, you, no, you don't. He's talking about linking with Cat Williams. It's just, you got a lot of battles he's trying to fight all at once and then the big battle is april 20 with devin haney so let me know what you guys think drop your thoughts in the comment section i'll be back with some more heat subscribe and check out this next video part one of this video